morning. An Israeli soldier was killed in the attack and three others were wounded. Nobody has claimed responsibility for the bombing. Palestinian sources say following the blast, Israeli troops clashed with Hamas in the area. A Palestinian militant allegedly responsible for the explosion was killed by an Israeli airstrike. But a Hamas spokesman in Gaza said Israel is to blame for the violence. To choose calm means to stop the aggression completely against the Palestinian people and to lift the siege and reopen all the border crossings, including the Rafah crossing. The Zionist enemy bears the full responsibility for any violent developments. After the attack, Israel closed Gaza crossings to humanitarian aid traffic after briefly opening them on Tuesday morning. Meanwhile, in Egypt, President Hosni Mubarak held talks with EU foreign policy chief Javier Solana. The two sides discussed the Egyptian initiative to reach a lasting peace and lift the blockade of Gaza. We never stop cooperating with the people in the Palestinian. We always cooperated with the government. Never stop. Never. We continue giving all the humanitarian aid to the Gazan people, probably the only people in the world that continue to do it. Egypt is trying to negotiate a longer-term arrangement to bring relative peace to the coastal territory, which has been ruled by Hamas since June of 2007. Michael Manning, CCTV. Meanwhile, U.S.